we have got just one break tonight and it is top series one jumbo it takes us a while right uh so it's a good thing we just have one <laughs> we do have a little bit of information that i like to go over before we actually get started with our ripping so um well except i don't think my xl opened for some reason that's weird so give me just a second to reopen it and I guess it's not reopen, it's open for the first time, but I thought it was open. I guess it wasn't. Now it is. So feedback, it is automated on eBay. Anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you are instantly going to get positive feedback in return. That is the wonders of automation right there. And of course, uh, far more importantly, there is a big thank you. Always appreciate you being here bidding, breaking, chatting, and hanging out with me. We're going to take a look now at what is coming up in the days ahead. So tomorrow we have one new release, that's Plates and Patches Football, and we will break a case of that tomorrow. On Saturday, we'll break Ultimate Draft Baseball, Plates and Patches Football, and Archive Signature Series Baseball Active Player Edition. Each of those will be broken by the full case. Both Sunday night and Monday night will be off nights. On Tuesday, we're going to come back with three TriStar Series 10 autograph baseballs, a pair of Leaf Autograph Multisport jerseys. Spots there are sold by the first letter of the last name, and they are listed in the football category. And then finally, a case of limited football. That's what Tuesday has in store for us. Here's what you need to know about what we are breaking tonight. It is just the one break. And of course, as we've talked or as is noted in the listing description, and we've talked about leading up to this break, veteran base does not ship in this break. And the celebration of decades ticket, should we be lucky enough to pull one of those 25 tickets, it is a separate bidding category. Now, please also remember there is no mail service on Monday the 17th. That is the President's Day holiday. That's why your projected shipping date for this break is Tuesday the 18th instead. Normally, this would have been projected to ship out on Monday, but because that is a holiday, we're going to have to, unfortunately, slide that to Tuesday the 18th. As always, if I can get something out sooner than the date you see on the screen, I will be happy to do so. This is a full six box case of 2020 Top Series 1 Jumbo Baseball Case Break number four. It ended tonight on eBay the same night we're breaking it, which is Tuesday the 13th of February. You're going to find the team names on the left hand side and the eBay user ID of each winning bidder is across from the team on the opposite side. And of course, once again, as a reminder, the Celebration of Decades ticket you'll see down there at the bottom is its own bidding spot. And if we were to pull one of those, I would be super hyped. It says in the tops literature that there are only 25 of those in the entire print run. It also makes it sound like whatever the event is going to be is just going to be phenomenal. So, yeah, <laughs> I hope we do pull one of those 25 because that would be something. Of course, you know, there's lots of times we pull things numbered to 25 or numbered to five or numbered to one of one so hey no reason we can't be the one to hit it or one of the ones to hit it unless i can't get the case open <laughs> then we won't hit anything if we can't get the boxes out of the case well isn't that right all right hang on i'm gonna bring these other three out the opposite way that's easier, I think. All right. So we are looking for one autograph and two relic cards per box. Oh, I forgot to fix the, uh, um, what do you call it? The focus. Yeah, sorry. Hang on a second. Your background is going to go blurry here, and that's by design. I just forgot to tweak it a second ago, so that should make it... That should make it a little better. There we go. So yeah, we're looking for one autograph and two relic cards per box. And one of the relics will be player used or player worn. The other relic is going to be a manufacturer's relic. All of the hits in Jumbo 
not hobby. This is the jumbo version. Well, I mean, they're both hobby, but you know what I mean. Not the standard version, but the jumbo version. All of our hits are right in the middle of the jumbo deck. So that's where we find our numbered cards, our inserts, our parallels, short prints, super short prints, autographs, relics, anything like that that we pull out. That's where we're going to find it, in the center of the pack. Now, of course, you probably remember we just talked about it, and it was in the listing description as well. Our veteran base doesn't ship, but the cards that do ship are the ones that have the little RC on them for our rookie card designation. So those ship to the teams as well as all the stuff that we find in the middle of the packs, plus what we find in our continuity packs, which are commonly referred to as silver packs. All of our silver packs will set up there until the very end of the night, and we'll open all of them at the end and see what finds uh, what we can find in there. We also, in each box, will have an, an oversized box loader, sometimes called box topper. And our first one out is for the Rockies with Nolan Arenado. It'll be one of those in each box. Now let me see what's going on over here in chat. You guys are cranking it out over there. <laughs> Jay Allen is here and Stang Lover as well. And, oh, Jay Allen says his teams haven't been getting very many cards uh, that weren't veteran base. I know some teams definitely hit more than others. That is for sure. You are looking for the Phillies in here. Stang Lover is looking for the Cardinals. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can have some luck there. So here's the deal, guys. Um, all of this that you're looking at right there, that is all considered veteran base. This is an example of the rookie card, of course, and it has that little designation down there at the bottom that says RC. So the rookie cards, like this one as well, do ship to the teams. Rookie cards and inserts. Only the veteran base, like this, that's veteran base, that's veteran base, that does not ship to the teams. So here's how this is going to work unless someone objects. We're going to go straight to the middle rather than looking through every card. Because if we look at every card, it adds about 30 to 40 minutes to the time that it will take us to break this. If we go straight to the hits, it's still going to take us uh, well over an hour, closer to an hour and a half to get this done. So here's a hollow foil for the Indians with Mike Clevenger. We're going to find plenty of hollow foils. For the most part, these are not numbered, but they are, of course, inserts. And uh, Decades Best. Now, there was some confusion in the first break. This is not a celebration of Decades ticket, okay? That is a, a ticket that would be to an event. This is a Decades Best card. We'll find plenty of those. 35th Anniversary, we're going to find bunches of those as well. And then the rest of this uh, from Garcia onward is all base. Now, for the purposes of this first pack, I'll go ahead and scroll through here and you can see that we are looking at the rest of this being base and in future packs unless someone jumps in there and objects then we're going to go straight to the middle look at what's in the middle and uh, not look through all the base that's the way we've been doing it up to this point so Sang Lover says the only Cardinals rookie in the product is a guy that's since been traded <laughs> Yeah, well, that does uh, make it a little harder to hit in this break, doesn't it? But there's still stuff you can hit, for sure. So I've been kind of watching the Astros saga unfold. This is another, whoops, that's the wrong sleeve, sorry. That's a thick card sleeve. Let me rearrange this a little bit so I grab the right one. So a hollow foil here for the Red Sox. So the Astros are starting to kind of come along and apologize for their role in the sign-stealing scandal, uh, some more so than others, but it's been interesting. Everybody at spring break, or spring training rather, they're all pretty ticked at them. Edgar Martinez and the Mariners, that's black border insert numbered to 299 for the decade's best. And we'll find a fair amount of these as well, die cuts, uh, maybe about one a box, not guaranteed, I think, to be that way, but generally speaking, coming out something close to that. Hank Aaron and the Braves on that die cut. Then an Orioles 35th anniversary, and Alcantara and forward is base. Base. 
Well, exactly, J. Allen. That's I. I J. Allen is typing in there um, that the celebration of decades ticket is a folded card and it looks like a ticket. Yeah, it's it's definitely doesn't look anything like a baseball card. But um, as I mentioned, someone had some confusion there in that very first break. I got a message from them the other day and they were thinking that 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 celebration of decades category meant they got all those cards that said decades best on them. So that's why I was making a special effort to try to clarify that tonight so we don't have any confusion on it. Kershaw and the Dodgers with a hollow foil, our first hit of the night. It is Mike Trout for the Angels. I do see we've got some chipping at our edges and corners, and there in it, and it is numbered to 199. So that's our player used or player worn relic, as the case may be. And it's for the Angels. There's another, <clears throat> excuse me, a decade's best and a 35th anniversary. Then we're back to base once we get to. Lucchese. In general, we will find um, about one short print a box when it's all said and done. By the time we get to the end of the night, we usually will have six or seven short prints or SSPs put together, usually standard short prints, although we did pull a nice SSP the other day too. A hollow foil map strom for the Padres. And as I say that, we've got a short print actually coming up right now. And it's Manny Machado for the Padres. We've seen that one come out before. Got it again tonight. First time we've seen this, it's called Decades Next. We will find plenty of them before we're done for the evening. That one went to the Rockies, 35th anniversary for the Giants. Dietrich and forward is base. Dietrich just got re-signed by the Reds to a minor league deal. He cleared waivers and we got him signed to a minor league deal. <laughs> ah, Jay Allen, you're funny. He's got me covered over there in chat. He goes, before anybody asks, yes, all the short prints are in the middle, and yes, it's all double-checked <laughs> to make sure everything is included when we sort. <laughs> He's heard me say that a bunch. Uh, that question gets asked a lot, obviously. The Rockies have a hollow foil with uh, David Dahl. I don't know why I'm sleeving those right now. Usually I do it after the fact, so we'll probably just do those after the fact. I get myself out of the habit there. Things that need to be sleeved like that. Our hits, of course, will still be sleeved as we go. Abraham Toro, our autograph card, which naturally I somehow got in upside down. And that goes to the Astros. Little tiny autograph, but there it is. And on a 35th anniversary insert, and that is a hard signed autograph, not a sticker. And then we have Decades Best, Tony Gwynn for the Padres, 35th anniversary Clemens for the Red Sox. That wraps up that pack. I like that Jay Allen's just got it going over there in chat. <laughs> He's doing the preemptive strike. I like it. Um, this is another insert that we have not seen yet. This one heads to the Phillies. These are tops now inserts. And basically, it is a card that is a picture of another card. <laughs> so these, I'm sure everybody by now probably knows what these tops now cards are. They're limited issued some have more than others uh but you know they're a custom print print to order after you order them kind of thing and so we have these inserts this year they're not not terribly plentiful so somewhat short print run i guess not technically a short print the twins have a hollow foil austin meadows this is the first one we've seen that will be numbered to 2020 you can tell by the color over there to the side and there it is on the back Next year, of course, those will be numbered to 2021 and so on and so forth. That's usually how that goes. But the little Tops Now cards, um, I don't know. Those are really, to me, those are almost as much advertising cards as anything else. Kershaw and the Dodgers, White Sox and Zach Collins, and Lariano is base.
But since those tops now don't come out that often, why will this pack not open? Hopefully that gives them a little bit more value proposition, perhaps, since they're not so frequently encountered. A hollow foil for the Giants. Brandon Belt, numbered to 2020. That is Danny Hulson for the Cubs. Where did I put our cards numbered to 2020? I've got so many stacks going over there. And our manufactured relic, it is numbered to 149. Joey Gallo and the Rangers on the front. So the manufactured relics, they come two different ways this year. One is like that, looks like a sleeve patch. Padres Decades Nest, Next, Astros 35th Anniversary. The other manufactured relic is a medallion. So we'll probably find some of each. J. Allen says, I had the wrong end of the one I couldn't get open. Yeah, I guess that is what happened. Usually it, you can do it kind of almost from either end with tops, but that one was very picky, so not in that case, right? Garrett Cole, League Leader Hollow Foil Astros. And there's a nice little Ty Cobb Tops Choice that is the black border numbered to 299. We'll find a lot of Tops Choice, but they won't usually be the black border, so that's an extra little hit there for the Tigers. Decades Best White Sox, Astros, and Bagwell, and Taylor Rogers Onward is base. We haven't come across a Home Run Derby card. Well, as I say that, there it is. So Home Run Derby cards are our other inserts that usually fall about once per box. And on the front of this one is Manny Machado for the Padres. It works like this. When you get it, you scratch off the silver to get the code that is beneath that. You go to the website as directed there on the back of the card. There's Marlins, Caleb Smith, Hollow Foil, uh, Decades Best, Bryce Harper. This is when he was still a national. So, of course, that goes to the Nats. Sandy Koufax for the Dodgers. And after you scratch off the code, you can enter it at the website and choose a date where you think the player on the front will hit a home run. And if that player does hit a home run on that date, you get a special Tops Now card that commemorates it, I believe. At least that's how it's been in the past. And then you get entered into a chance to win tickets to the Home Run Derby at the All-Star Game. So, kind of a cool little thing. The Phillies and Nola with a hollow foil. And this, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> big air and big hair for the Brewers. And uh, it is numbered to 69. Big air and big hair. <laughs> I don't really, I, that's, yeah. I don't remember seeing that card before. I guess because it's part of veteran base. Most of the time when I'm doing the second sword, I'm looking for other stuff other than the pictures on it. Yachty Molina and the Cardinals, the Yankees, and Aaron Judge, Boreos onward, base. So there goes box number one, and now you kind of know what to expect as we go forward. Both of our continuity packs. And, of course, our, our little turkey red box loader over there we'll jump into as soon as I get all these packs out of here. And then we'll shake it down from the other end, I think. Well, okay, maybe we didn't get that. I didn't get that cut all the way across, apparently. Now we do. You have Francisco Lindor and the Cleveland Indians for the box loader out of box number two. I tell you what, I've got something in my eye that has been in my eye for the last couple of hours. Hang on one second. I'm going to put another set of drops in there. I'm trying to flush out whatever it is. I don't even know what it is. Ah. 
or whatever it is, has been bugging me. Oh, Jay Allen, did you see that South Carolina uh, basketball program has been served a notice of violation by the um, NCAA? Apparently one of the, I don't know which coach, I just saw the headline on Bleacher Report, but one of the former assistant coaches, I guess, has taken some bribes somewhere along the way in that scandal. So they're in some hot water. Ken Giles and Blue Jays, hollow foil. Number to 2020, it is Brendan McKay for the Tampa Bay Rays. So I'm wondering if you know anything extra about that, Jay Allen. Have you heard anything more about it? Matt Chapman and the Oakland A's with a manufactured relic. And there's a, a Ty Cobb insert tops choice that is not a short not numbered like the other one was. Dodgers and Dustin May and Hanser Alberto onward is base. So apparently whatever it is, it just happened, but I don't even know which coach it is or or what bribes he allegedly accepted or any of that. So I'll have to find out more after the break. Caleb is looking for some Mets. All right, Caleb, we'll try to make life happy for you and your Mets. If we can have some luck for them, perhaps. Freddie Freeman and the Atlanta Braves have a home run derby card. A hollow foil for the Astros. Yuli Gurriel. Decades best Rangers. Vlad Guerrero Jr., Blue Jays and Real Muto onward base. Yeah, I think it just happened, Jay Allen. I just saw, well, like as in sometime today, maybe not just as in the last 20 minutes, but just as in today. I happened to see the headline on Bleacher Report go flying by on the iPad when I was setting up for the break, but I didn't have time to look into it, unfortunately. Hollow foil, Cole Calhoun, Angels. Our autograph for this box heads to the Brewers. You have a Trent Grisham autograph for Milwaukee, and it is numbered to 199. That one is a sticker auto. Decades best for the Red Sox, the Mariners, Ken Griffey Jr. The rest is base. Yeah, so I don't know. Since it's a former coach and it was a, an assistant coach, it really, I don't know, maybe it won't be too bad for them, depending on, I guess, what all was involved with it. Hollow Foil Verlander, Astros. And the Phillies have a Cesar Hernandez. This feels like vintage stock to me. And in fact, it is. And it is numbered to 99. So the Phillies with the vintage stock insert, which tend to fall once per jumbo case, generally speaking. Again, I don't think that's particularly guaranteed to be that way, but that's what we've noticed anyway. Chris Paddock, Padres, Decades Best, Cubbies, and Garcia with the 35th anniversary puck onward base. Oh, you don't really follow game talk basketball? Okay. Well, I yeah, I didn't. Uh, I I thought you were all in on the game cocks in all the sports. I didn't know you didn't keep up with the basketball that much. So it may not be that impactful anyway. Who knows? Uh, just depending on what all happened, I guess. Or what they are alleging happened, more to the point. White Sox, Garcia with a hollow foil. Randy Johnson, Diamondbacks. Al Kaline, Tigers. David Price, Onward is base. So, yeah, the Red Sox are paying a huge chunk of David Price's salary still. Uh, I saw the figure, and I've forgotten now what it was, but it was, it's a, it's a lot. <laughs> I want to say it was like $40 million or something. I don't know. It was a crazy high number. 
and they're spreading it out, paying paying the Dodgers every month from like April through September for all the way through 2021 or no, 2022 maybe. I think it was three years paying them in 2021 and 22. So they absorbed a huge chunk of that contract to move him on down the road. The Tampa Bay Rays have a hollow foil. Decades best for the Astros, the Mets, and Mr. Pete Alonso, Pavetta on base. It was $48 million. Yeah, that's what I kind of had stuck in my head, and then I thought, that sounds wrong. <laughs> but I guess it was not. I guess it was right. So thank you, Andrew, for clarifying that. I, it was a big, big chunk. I did know that. Of course, that contract was huge. A hollow foil for the Red Sox with Vasquez, number 2020. That is the Astros and George Springer. Behind that, we're going to have a die cut, and it is Ichiro for the Mariners. There's a Dale Murphy insert for the Braves coming up after that. And then Alvarez onward is, uh, of course, base. Now, somebody asked me earlier, do rookie, do the cards with the rookie cups on them ship? Well, so like when they have the cup on them and also the little RC rookie card designation, yes. If they do not also have that RC designation and they're on a veteran player, which would be Pete Alonso, et cetera, guys who were rookies last year and are veterans this year, then no, that wouldn't. That would be considered veteran base. So it all depends on that little, that little RC symbol being on the card is what determines what is a rookie card and what is not. Cubbies, hollow foil. A Dustin May short print for the Dodgers. We've also pulled this one quite frequently. I like that kid, though. I think he's going to be good from what we've seen of him. Ken Griffey Jr. for the Mariners. Philly's 35th anniversary, Bryce Harper. Aristides Aquino onward is base. Jay Allen, you said they had a coach. Talking about South Carolina basketball, I'm thinking, get into a shoving match with a player earlier in the season, and they've been dysfunctional for a long time. Oh, uh, well, you know, um, I did not hear about the coach and the player getting in a shoving match, so that's kind of, yeah, not a good look. <laughs> but isn't, um, oh, what's that guy's name? Uh, uh is it Frank something, your basketball coach? Frank Martin. Isn't he still your basketball coach at South Carolina? He gets real fiery, so I could maybe see him shoving somebody. Lazardo with a hollow foil. And behind that, we have a Ryu relic. And that is our player-worn, player-used relic. And, of course, uh, Dodgers for that one. Red Sox and Red Sox, and then Abreu onward is base. Stang Lover says their uniforms are not blue, so they're in double trouble. So I'm assuming that's a reference to Duke and UK and maybe North Carolina. <laughs> All of which have blue uniforms? Or are you just trolling me with my UK Wildcats? I'm feeling like you're trolling all three of those teams. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Might be just trolling me specifically. <laughs> Albert Pujols. This is another Tops Now insert. Headed to the Angels. I think this is maybe. Is this our second or our third Tops Now? Maybe just our second with Bryce Harper being the first one. The Indians have a hollow foil. And number to 2020 for the Red Sox, it's J.D. Martinez. Oh, I forgot about Kansas. You're right. I don't think of Kansas as being totally a blue uniform. I mean, they definitely are blue, but they're somehow I don't think of them. I think of Duke and North Carolina and U.K. generally when I think of blue. But, yeah, Kansas, the Jayhawks do have, I guess, a largely blue uniform. Nico and the Cubbies, Walker Bueller for the Dodgers. 
and uh, Grinky onward is base. All right, two boxes down, four to go. Jay Allen says they should insert the real tops now cards. That would be cool. I would like that. That would be an interesting little twist if they did that. Well, before it's all said and done, you know, they probably will. Milwaukee Brewers and Hera on our oversized box loader. I mean, they're making so much money on those Tops Now cards. It's ridiculous. Of course, not just the ones that are commemorating an event, which a lot of them do. You know, some kind of highlight of a player's or a team's highlight or something. But they also do that Living Legends set, which essentially could go on from now till the end of time. There is no shortage of players that can be included because they use current players, past players, etc. And I think that set will go on forever as long as they're making money. And they do because the resale value of some of those early Living Legends cards is like crazy high. Cubs, Hollow Foil, Rizzo. Of course, like anything else, it's the early stuff that brings the most money. A short print for the Yankees with the one and only Aaron Judge. Here is our manufactured relic. And it's Buster Posey. It's numbered to 149, heading to the Giants. And it's our first medallion that we've seen tonight for the manufactured relic. So that's kind of cool. White Sox, Giolito, Marlins, and Yamamoto. Abreu onward base. They also have on demand, you said. Yeah, well, yeah, so they do have, they have a lot, they have a lot of money they make <laughs> from kind of instant printing of cards. There comes another Tops now. This one is Shohei Otani for the Angels. So the third one, I believe, that we've seen of that tonight. So they are coming out about one per box, I guess. The Angels with the hollow foil. Decades best Alomar for the Blue Jays. And Thor for the Mets. Andrew Haney forward is base. And then, of course, they've got all the digital apps, too. And they make a ton of money on the digital apps. I mean a ton of money. You know, I play around with some of those, and I get a lot of the free stuff. And uh, occasionally, I spend a little money on them. Not often, but if there's a set I really like or something, I might spend a little bit chasing it. For the White Sox, hollow foil. But I see people on there that are spending thousands literally thousands of dollars per month on digital cards which like wow number to 2020 verdugo and the dodgers die cut johnny bench for the reds and the a's have a mark mcguire insert and then we're base from there forward of course, you know, there's got to be money in that digital stuff because you've got um, crazy stuff going on, like Panini issuing those blockchain cards. And even though their blockchain cards also come with a real physical copy of the card, the idea is that you own the digital card forever and can, or can trade it or sell it or track the ownership history of it for like all of time. And they are asking a lot of money for that. <laughs> the Indians, hollow foil, Reyes. Here comes our player used or player worn as the case may be. It is the White Sox and Moncada. It's our second relic from this box. Looks like it's a piece of the baseball bat. And there's the Orioles and Eddie Murray, decades best. Cubbies and Rizzo, 35th anniversary. Yastrzemski onward is base. 
Yeah, J. Allen, they definitely sell the digital cards for those Tops apps on eBay. In fact, I have bought some of them on there. I will confess to that. Sometimes if there's a set that I'm chasing um, for whatever reason, it might be just cheaper and easier to go spend three or four bucks and get it on eBay versus however much I would have to spend and, and invest in trading other people and etc. to complete it on there. But there's not too, too many I chase, but there are a few that I do. Fernando Tatis and the Padres with our Home Run Derby card. And then after I do it, I always ask myself, why in the world am I spending money on digital cards? Like, <laughs> I spend so much money on physical cards. Why am I adding to it? I don't know. White Sox, Hollow Foil, Abreu, Decades, decades Best for the Giants, White Sox, and the Big Hurt with Frank Thomas, and we're base onward from there. But I was on that app for years before I, before I spent the first dime on it. That's how they hook you, you know? Like, for years, I was on there just getting the free cards and basically trying to collect digital sets for my Cincinnati Reds and certain rookies and stuff like that. And um, But then once you spend money that first time, then they know they've got you hooked. <laughs> the Red Sox and Brock Holt hollow foil. And this is for the Giants. It's Tyler Beatty and numbered to 300. Don Mattingly insert for the Yankees, the Cubs, and Ryan Sandberg. Aquino onwards base. But I have seen people talk in the chat on those apps. And I don't know whether or not they're telling the truth, I don't know. But when you look at the amount of cards they have and all that stuff, you figure they probably are spending some pretty healthy money. And there have been people on there that basically say like their significant other has said, if you don't stop spending <laughs> spending our money on that app, like I'm going to leave you kind of stuff. <laughs> and these guys are like, I'm not sure which one I want to do. Keep spending money or <laughs> just stay with my, my girlfriend or wife or whatever. The Padres and Ian Kinsler. This will be numbered to 2020 for the Cubs. Craig Kimbrell in his weirdo pre-pitch stance. Decades best, Nolan Ryan as an angel. The Braves and Hank Aaron. Real Muto onward base. <laughs> Jay Allen says none of them are telling the truth in chat. I paraphrased it, but that's basically what he's saying. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? But there definitely are people that spend ungodly amounts of money on there. And I mean, what happens if that app goes away one day? Tim Anderson, White Sox, hollow foil. And we have our autograph card out. It is also numbered to 195 which means it is a black border and it is for the Detroit Tigers Travis Demerit or Demerit I'm not sure which maybe neither but you know how I am with my name pronunciation as in I'm terrible with that yeah you got it decades best Royals Giants and Will Clark Ryan Braun onward base Caleb, you said you used to spend a lot on there, <laughs> like way too much. Yeah, I mean, that's why I say once they get you started, that's the bad part. I spent more this past year than I've ever spent on there. And I really, but even after I spent that, I was like, oh my God, why did I spend that money on that? But at the time, you know, it feeds my need to uh, whatever, acquire things, I guess, because I like the trading part too. Hollow Foil, Verlander, Astros. We have a Mother's Day, Giolito, for the White Sox. You can tell by the pink border. If that were a light blue border, it would be Father's Day. In either case, those are both numbered to 50, as was this little card for the White Sox. Bryce Harper insert for the Phillies. Blake Snell and the Tampa Bay Rays. Strom onward is base. And you know, it's not just baseball that they have either. They've got baseball, football, um, Star Wars, WWE, 
I think there's a one for like Marvel or the Avengers or something like that. I think there's a Disney one. Um, and I'm sure I'm forgetting some because I always see people like I'm cross trading for, oh, skate. So that must be hockey cross trading for slam or skate or whatever. So that that's, you know, I can't even imagine how much money tops makes on that. Hollow foil, Jeremy Jeffress. Decades best Robin Yount for the Brewers, the Angels, and Matt Thace. I think I pronounced that incorrectly, but you got the idea. Jordan Alvarez onward base. Halfway there, three opened, three remaining. Caleb said it was fun for about a month and then became a chore with the fantasy side of it. Yeah, see, that's how I got started. That's how I first started spending money because I wanted a certain card from like one of the weekend contests, you know, and I knew that the cards I had probably weren't going to score enough to get what I wanted. So I thought, well, I'm going to take a spin and get some of these, you know, higher scoring cards. And then the next thing you know, man, I went down a rabbit hole and I bet you I spent 50 or 60 bucks. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, what have, what am I doing? This is so crazy. So I kind of calmed myself down after that, but not until I already had a decent little chunk of my money there. Yachty Molina and the St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah, Jay Allen, you're smart. He says he'll stay with the cardboard side of it. You're you're smart to do that. I don't know why I got started on the digital side anyway. Well, because it was free, you know. And I thought, well, it's a good way to keep track of all my Reds players. And I won't have... I can just get the base sets of the Reds every year and not worry about the rest of it. But then, but then as I said, you go down the rabbit hole and then... Whew, <laughs> kind of takes off on you from there. Hollow foil, do little nationals. Trevor Bauer, short print, reds, uniform uh, is what makes it the short print. It's like a Memorial Day uniform, camo uniform, parallel sort of. Pete Alonso and the Mets, Daryl Strawberry and the Mets, and then we are back to the base with Austin Riley. Yeah, free apps are never free. You're right about that. Well, they are as long as you're happy with just what they give you free. The problem is once they get you indoctrinated, it's like a cult, man. Once they get you sucked in, then you start looking at all the better stuff that other people have. And you're like, but wait, <laughs> but wait, I want that one. The Yankees and Glaber Torres hollow foil. Ralph Kiner and the Pirates, the Yankees, and Severino. Hendricks onward is base. I saw that Cole Hamels is going to miss the start of, I guess, uh, at least spring training. I don't know if he's going to miss the start of the season or not. I guess that shoulder is acting up on him again or something. Missed a big chunk last year, too. Of course, he's traded now. You would have hoped he would have gotten off to a better start, but no. The Reds and Trevor Bauer with a hollow foil. Number to 2020, Rafael Devers and the Red Sox. Manufactured relic is Glaber Torres for the Yankees. And that, of course, will be our medallion on the other side. Oh, cool little Gavin Lux insert. I like that for the Dodgers. And then the Phillies have a Reese Hoskins insert. And we're Jeffress Onward base. Stang Lover says the greatest scam on earth is taxes on lottery winnings. They get half of the pot and then a third or so of the winner's haul. Well, yeah, that is the truth, isn't it? That is very true. They do absolutely hang you out to dry on that. 
Jordan Alvarez Astros with the home run challenge. Hollow foil Astros, Jordan Alvarez. Back to back Jordan. Not too bad if you're the Astros, I guess. Decades best, Steve Carlton, the Braves, and Chipper Jones. And then we're price and base going on from there. Jay Allen, you said you think you're up to six cards now <laughs> for your Phillies. I Well, I know, I know. It's harder when you don't have the the rookies in there to beef up your pile, you know. Hollow Foil Mariners of Vogelbach. Our autograph is for the Blue Jays, Lourdes Guriel. Yuli's little brother, I believe. Sticker auto on that one. Eddie Matthews, Milwaukee Braves, which are the current Atlanta Braves, so that's where that goes. Alex Bregman, Astros. Boreos on base. All right, we have got a hollow foil for the Royals. With Nikki Lopez to 2020, Yelich and the Brewers. For the Oakland A's, it's Lazardo, the Astros, and George Springer. And Lucchese and on is base. I always like to check our last one before we get to it to make sure we're at the dead center. The Indians and Carlos Santana, Warren Spawn, and once again, Milwaukee Braves are the Atlanta Braves, Mariners, and Ichiro. And then we're at Laureano forward, base, base, and all kinds of base. We've got a hollow foil for my little Cincinnati Reds. Derek Dietrich. Christian Stewart for the Tigers to 2020. Cal Ripken, Orioles, Rockies, and Nolan Arenado. And Hanser Alberto onward base. Phillies with a hollow foil of Nick Pavetta. I see a blue border coming out next. The blue border, as you probably know, are not numbered, but they also don't come out very frequently. The Twins and Jose Barreos. So that is, um, what have we been finding those guys? About once per case, something in that general vicinity. Lou Gehrig, Yankees, die cut. Tampa Bay Rays and Brendan McKay. And Tyler Alexander and forward is base. Well, all right. All right, hollow foil is the Dodgers with Ryu. And our relic is Ricky Henderson. I'm sure it's going to be the Oakland days on the front. It, we've seen that one before as well. Pittsburgh Pirates, decades best, and Clayton Kershaw inserts. And then we're base from Arenado onward. We are four down with two remaining.
continuity packs. Our little box loader this time is for the Tigers with Miggy. I wonder when Miggy's going to retire. He's still got a lot of contract left, doesn't he? Carl, we have not seen any San Francisco Giants autographs up to this point. Of course, it's, uh, what have we seen, four autographs out of the six. None of them have been Giants yet, anyway. Still got a pair of them left to find. Hollow foil for the Astros. Justin Verlander. Speaking of autograph cards, here is one out of this box. It's for the Cleveland Indians. Aaron Savale, Savali, Savali. I don't know. I pronounce it incorrectly. I know that's a shock to you that I would pronounce it incorrectly. <laughs> Sticker auto. Jacob DeGrom, decades best for the Mets, with Merrifield and the Royals. Yeah, ever since Jacob DeGrom cut his hair, oh, I think he looks so much better. I did not like him when he had the 80s hairband stuff going on. But once he cut his hair, man, he's a good looking guy. It's just like Julian Edelman and his beard, right? You ever seen Julian Edelman without his beard? He shaved it for charity on Ellen's show last year, year before last. It's the only time I had seen him without it. White Sox hollow foil. And here we have a Diamondbacks numbered 300 with Andrew Chafin for Arizona. The Mets and Pete Alonso, Top's Choice, Padres, and Paddock. So yeah, Julian Edelman without his beard looks like a totally different guy too. It's crazy. Billy says your Tigers are hitting good tonight. Big difference compared with the regular season. <laughs> oh, I tell you, right? I mean, the Tigers are kind of like... In the, in the same boat my Cincinnati Reds have been in, we've just seen better days. Of course, the Reds made a ton of off-season moves. We'll see how those pan out. Aristides Aquino, Cincinnati Reds hollow foil. A die-cut Sandy Koufax for the Dodgers. And I believe we are um, about to hit upon our manufactured relic for this box. And that is Puig, Yazel Puig who is, as of yet, unsigned free agent for the Cleveland Indians. What am I doing? We still got this to look at. Decades best Jim Palmer for the Orioles and the Pirates and Roberto Clemente. So, yeah, I mean, when, Pu when Puig came to us from the Dodgers, he had a really nice first half of the season with the Reds. And then they traded him up north to Cleveland. And, I mean, he, I think he still was okay in Cleveland, but he definitely had a drop-off in production from what he had been hitting in Cincinnati. And so now, you know, he was going into free agency, and, like, now nobody's even picked him up, which I find a little surprising. Max Kepler and the Minnesota Twins home run derby card. Sean Doolittle hollow foil nationals. Decades best for the Dodgers, and the Cubbies have Kyle Schwarber. We are based there from Trevor Richards forward. It is a hollow foil for Steven Strasburg and the Nationals. Number to 2020, Tyler O'Neill for the Cardinals. Die cut Ken Griffey Jr. for the Mariners. 
Well, go in there, Ken Griffey Jr. Come on, man. The Astros, Jose Altuve. Cole Calhoun on his base. We have a little hollow foil for the Astros with Carlos Correa. Decades best for the Mets and Daryl Strawberry. Goldie for St. Louis. And then we are base onward from there. We should be seeing a short print before long, I would imagine. Kansas City Royals, Nikki Lopez, hollow foil. Decades best, the Big Hurt for the White Sox, Jacob DeGrom and the Mets. Quinn onward base. We'll probably hit that photoshopped Garrett Cole as a Yankee short print. We've hit it, I think, in every case we've opened, and in one case we hit it twice. So, yeah, like how short can that be, really, I'm saying. <laughs> We're hitting, hitting it a lot. Tampa Bay Rays, Tyler Glass now, hollow foil to 2020, Roberto Perez and the Cleveland Indians. Decades next, Beau Bichette, Blue Jays, Hira for the Brewers. Conforto forward. You got it. It's base. Lots and lots and lots of base. It actually takes as long as it takes to do the break. It takes that long to sort back through that base and pull out the rookies and make sure that everything is as it should be. That's crazy, right? I know. But that's how many cards are over there. <laughs> By the time I'm done, it takes uh, an hour to an hour and 30 minutes to go through just the base. Verlander tops now. Insert Astros. A hollow foil for the Mariners with Kikuchi. And there comes that little SP we were looking for. And it is the big hurt. Mr. Frank Thomas for the White Sox is our nice little short print tonight out of that box. Belly, Dodgers, Braves, and Saworka, Polanco onward base. Jay Allen says he's giving up and going to bed. Oh, we're so close to being done, though. <laughs> we're like 15 minutes and we're done. But all right, I hear you. You always have to get up so early. I can't. I can't hold that against you, man. You get up at the crack of dawn every day, so have at it. Go get some Z's. Hollow foil, Red Sox, Brock Holt. Oh, Nick Senzel, my Cincinnati Reds with a little player-worn or game-used memorabilia, whichever, however you want to say it. Game-used, player-worn, kind of the same thing. Considering that that one is cloth and, you know, whatnot. So Cincinnati Reds and Nick Senzel getting that one. Orioles, Decades Best, Angels, Mr. Albert Pujols, and Jeffress for the Brewers. All right, last box. So we are definitely going to invoke a little last box mojo here. See if we can't manage to pull ourselves some fire out of our last box. Hopefully, right? We will try very, very hard to accomplish that. Here comes our turkey red box loader. Last one of these for the night. Did that not cut all the way? No, it did cut all the way through. All right. And that's the Cardinals and Goldie. Little Paul Goldschmidt. For St. Louis. Okay, so here's how this will work. After we look through this last box of cards, 
we will then open up our continuity packs also known as silver packs we'll find out what is inside of those after we do that we will then recap autographs relics numbered cards short prints home run derby cards so that's kind of what's coming up in the next little bit here a max muncie for the dodgers on the home run challenge and after we do our card recap, I'll put up the shipping, anticipated shipping date one more time. And then we'll also take one more look at what's coming up in the days ahead. Robles, Angels, Hollow Foil. And there's exactly what I told you we'd hit before we got out of here. <laughs> it's a Garrett Cole short print in the Yankees uniform, photoshopped in the Yankees uniform. Frank Robinson for the Reds, Dodgers, and Gavin Lux, Kirsch onward base. Dang lover says, well, now it's a windfall. <laughs> hey, well, you know what? At least we got you something. At least we've gotten you something. So it's hard in this series one and two and update. You guys know how that works. Hollow foil and Willie Adames in the race. A blue border Johnny Bench. My man Johnny Bench for the Cincinnati Reds. Ken Griffey Jr., Mariners, Rod Carew, and the Angels. David Price onward is base. It's hard sometimes when you go back and break the flagship sets like this because they've spoiled us by having so many hits and some other products. We're just used to seeing a lot more hits. And then when you get into flagship of Series 1, Series 2, and Update, it just seems like, man, it's so hard to hit anything. Well, because there aren't many hits, right? Um, this is the one Stanglover always makes fun of me, and he says I pronounce it so terribly incorrectly. So um, just for his amusement only, Alzale for the Cubs. <laughs> With a hollow foil. Monte Irvin, Giants, Braves, and Ronald Acuna, Conforto on his base. We have got the Philadelphia Phillies and a hollow foil there for Jake Arietta. And here comes Tanaka to 2020 for the Yankees. Oh, it's Jay Allen that makes fun of me for saying that. I thought it was you, Stanglover, that made fun of me for the way I said that guy's name. It was Jay Allen. Okay, well, I didn't mean to sell you, sell you short there. You make fun of the basketball pronunciations. Okay, I got to keep my, <laughs> I got to keep it straight, right? Okay. Clemente, number to 149 for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Manufactured relic. Ozzy. Braves, D-backs, and Alex Young, and, and Savale there onward is base. A hollow foil for the Braves. Oh, it's Billy Hamilton. Yay, Billy Hamilton. A Jacob deGrom, Decades Best, numbered to 25, and signed. Oh, boom, man. Last Box Mojo comes home, bringing it home for the Mets. Very nice. Last Box Mojo delivered big time for us here with a Jacob deGrom autograph to 25. That is a sticker auto, but it doesn't really matter. It's a nice hit. Decades best, Ken Griffey Jr., Mariners, the Reds, and Nick Senzel. And then we're Bregman on word base. <laughs> Jay Allen says it wasn't him that made fun of me for saying that name. Then I don't know who it was. I, I could have sworn it was one of the two of you, but I guess not. All right. Well, you know. I well either way I know I butcher it I just don't know who it is that tells me <laughs> who tells me in the chat the 
proper pronunciation that I promptly butcher the next time. Not on purpose, but Pete Alonso for the hollow foil. There's to 2020 for the Rockies. A John Gray. Dale Murphy for the Braves. Jake Rogers for the Tigers. Calhoun forward, base. What are you saying? There was a J-Lo Super Bowl jacket? What, is that? <laughs> what does that mean, man? I don't know what that means. Although I will say, I thought Shakira did a better job at the halftime show than J-Lo did. And so did kind of everybody. Like everybody that was watching it in my vicinity. We all like thought Shakira did better than J-Lo. Ramon Lariano in the Oakland A's. Hollow foil. Tom Seaver for the Mets. The Red Sox and Wade Boggs. Trevor Richards onward space. Not that J-Lo did... Poorly, she didn't. I mean, it was a good halftime show all the way around. I just thought Shakira was better. Oh, the Clemente manufactured relic had the Puerto Rican flag on it. I got you now, Sting Lover. I was like, what are you talking about? A J-Lo Super Bowl jacket. I couldn't put those two things together. Oh, whew, sorry. Long day, man. Long day. A little slow. Nolan Arenado hollow foil for the Rockies. And this should be number 76. It's a Jeff McNeil future stars to 76. Independence Day sort of insert there. And next up, we have a Ty Cobb die cut for the Tigers. Red Sox and Mookie Betts. Polanco on his base. Dang, Jay Allen says he'd rather hear a dog bark for an hour than to listen to the halftime show. <laughs> wow, man, that is harsh. I have to tell you, I thought they did a better job than like Maroon 5 and some of the other people we've seen at halftime in recent years. And I like Maroon 5 for the most part, but I thought they butchered their halftime show. Merrill Kelly hollow foil for the Diamondbacks. In fact, lots of times I think the halftime shows are just the sound quality and stuff is terrible. A Vlad Guerrero Jr. Black Border Blue Jays should be numbered. There it is to 299. So a little Vlad for Toronto. Die cut Rivera for the Yankees. And a Garrett Cole here for the Astros. And then Miggy is back to base. We are on our last pack. <laughs> Stanglover said he thought it was a strip club show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, J-Lo spent forever on the pole, didn't she? I mean, I guess it's because I didn't see the last movie she made, but apparently that's where she learned her pole dancing skills. Max Scherzer and the Nationals. I guess she decided she needed to put them to good use. Sunny Gray and my Cincinnati Reds with our final hit, our final relic and final hit. Out of the boxes anyway. Maybe some in there. Ted Williams, Red Sox, Trevor Bauer, Reds. Alcantara onward is base. Now we're going to get into our continuity packs. And let's get our recap sort of set up so that I know what I'm going to be doing here in a minute. Well, who is moving around? Somebody's trying to move around there on the bottom, aren't they? Trying to make our life difficult, or my life difficult anyway. Okay, let's bust into some continuity packs. Mariners, A's, Astros. Right away we find ourselves an autograph. Good way to start things. 
And it is Gavin Lux for the Dodgers. I like that kid too. So nice hit right out of the first, right out of, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> first crack of the bat right out of the box to 199, the Gavin Lux autograph. So, and then we have these little advertising cards that are on the back of each pack. So, Angels, Cubs, Padres, Yankees. Stang Lover says that you would never go to a strip club because the doctor says it's not good for your cardiovascular system. <laughs> Twins, Royals, Cubs, Dodgers. <laughs> Jen Allen's doctor told me he could catch something in there. Because it depends on what you were doing, man. <laughs> Brewers, Mariners, Blue Jays, a black border Nico for the little cubbies. Numbered to 199, little Nico Horner. Nice hit for the Cubs. Jordan Alvarez for the Astros. And we've got Brewers, Mariners, a black border Altuve for the Astros to 199. Has the cheating scandal affected their autograph prices at all out of curiosity? Has anyone noticed with, say, Altuve and Bregman and some of those guys? And then we had Astros, Red Sox, Mets, Mets. Mets again, Astros again, Brewers and Mariners. It's a lot of repetition in these continuity packs. Astros, Red Sox, Mets, the Oakland A's have a purple border, which is number 275. That's Sean Murphy. Yankees, White Sox, Orioles, White Sox. Brewers, Red Sox, Angels, Rockies. Dodgers, A's, Cardinals, Padres, Blue Jays, Twins, Royals, Cubs. All right, so that takes care of continuity packs. Now let's buzz through a little recap. So we'll do our box loaders just for the sake of doing them. They're not many. Goldschmidt and the Cardinals, Cabrera. For the Tigers, Yadi Molina, Cardinals, Hira for the Brewers, Francisco Lindor, Indians, Nolan Arenado, Rockies. Next, we will take a look at our home run derby cards. Got the Dodgers, Twins, Astros, Padres, Braves, and Padres again. We'll take a look at our cards that are numbered to 2020. You've got Rockies, Yankees, Indians, Cardinals, Tigers, Brewers, Red Sox, Cubbies, Dodgers, Red Sox, Astros, Rays, Cubs, and Rays again. Our short print cards. It's the Yankees and Garrett Cole the White Sox and Frank Thomas, the Reds and Trevor Bauer, the Yankees and Aaron Judge, the Dodgers with Dustin May, and Manny Machado for the Padres. These are numbered cards that don't have autographs or relics attached. So, Sean Murphy for the A's purple continuity to 75. This is black continuity Astros Altuve to 199. Black continuity Cubs Nico Horner to 199. Straight black border. We're done with the continuity part of it. Vlad Guerrero Jr. and the Blue Jays to 299 to 76. That's Jeff McNeil for the Mets. Blue border are not numbered, but they're not frequent, so we still recap them. Johnny Bench for the Reds. 
Diamondbacks to 300. The other blue border is Jose Barreos and the Twins. We've got a Mother's Day for the White Sox to 50. For the Giants, it is to 300 for Beattie. The Phillies and Cesar Hernandez, that is the vintage stock to 99. Big Air, Big Hair for the Brewers is numbered to 69. The Tigers, Ty Cobb, Black Border to 299. And a Black Border, Edgar Martinez for the Mariners to 299. The Relic Recap. Sunny Gray and the Cincinnati Reds. Manufactured Clemente Pirates to 149. Cincinnati Reds and Nick Senzel. Manufactured Puig for the Indians. Ricky Henderson, Oakland A's. A manufactured Glaber Torres for the Yankees. Moncada for the White Sox. Manufactured Buster Posey for the Giants to 149. The Dodgers and Ryu. Manufactured Matt Chapman for the Oakland A's. Mike Trout for the Angels. That one also is numbered on the front there to 199, I think that says. A Joey Gallo manufactured for the Rangers, numbered to 149. So there's all of our relics that we hit tonight. Our autographs out of the continuity packs. We hit a Gavin Lux for the Dodgers, numbered to 199. This sweet little bad boy right here, a Jacob deGrom autograph on Decades Best for the Mets. It's numbered to 25. Aaron Savale for, or Savali, whichever, it's for the Indians. Lourdes Gurriel Jr., for the Toronto Blue Jays, a black border for the Tigers, Travis Demerit or Demerit. It's numbered to 199. A black border, Trent Grisham to 199 for the Brewers. And the Astros and Abraham Toro. So there you go. That's the break. That's the recap. Let's get our other information up here as promised coming up now your anticipated shipping date, and what is breaking in the days ahead. So everybody really should have pulled cards out of here. Um, if on some off chance somebody got completely blanked and you don't have a single card coming, you would still get a package in the mail and it would have consolation card or cards in it. But generally speaking, the other breaks we've done, every team has pulled something. So hopefully that'll be the case again tonight should be out the door on or about Tuesday. So please remember there is no mail service Monday for Veterans Day. That's when it would have normally been projected to go out. But since it can't go on Monday, it's going to slide to Tuesday. If I can get it done faster than that, you know I will gladly do so. We are taking a look next at what is coming up in the days ahead. So tomorrow it is Plates and Patches Football. That's a new release. We're going to break it by the full case. On Saturday it'll be Ultimate Draft Baseball, Plates and Patches Football again, Archive Signature Series Baseball, Active Player Edition, all three by the full case on Saturday. Both Sunday and Monday will be off nights. We'll get back to business on Tuesday where we will open a TriStar Series, or three rather, TriStar Series 10 Autograph Baseballs. A pair of Leaf Autograph Multi-Sport jerseys. Spots are sold by first letter of the last name, and they are all listed in the football category. And then a case of limited football. That's what Tuesday looks like. So that has got me finished up for tonight. As always, I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope I will see you again tomorrow night for our new release of Plates and Patches Football. But if I don't see you then, I hope you will come back and see me sometime soon. In the meantime, enjoy what is left of the work week, and let's all look forward to the weekend. I'll be back at it tomorrow night, and see you then. Bye now.